Hello, my name is Keith Thompson. I'm part of the product development team here at Axminster Tools. And today I want to talk to you about the TSO Products uh, MTR18 Precision Triangle. This is wholly USA made and is quite a comprehensive kit of parts as you see. This first part of the video is just to tell you what you get in the box when you buy the product. As the name implies, it is a triangle, precision machined, with 18 inch or 456 mil sides. The accuracy of the markings are within one thousandth of an inch over the whole length of the triangle itself. It's uh, CNC machined from what is known as aircraft quality. I think it's T606 aluminium. You can see it's comprehensively marked and all these marks are actually etched, so they're not marks that are going to rub off or anything silly over the years. Metric on this side, and for those who still like to work in Imperial, there is the Imperial measurements as well, so it's your choice. You get this triangle, which you can see is marked with a graduated angle scale from zero to 90 degrees, and you have um, an edge this side that is marked with, with angles as well, and your normal marking from zero to 44.5 five, six, both sides, or as you can see on the other side, out to about 17 and three quarters or so. So that is the triangle part. Um, nobody else in the world makes anything like this. It's an amazingly complex and a really useful tool, as you will see later. So with this triangle, you get a collection of other parts. You have a single foot, which will fix to either edge. You have an indicator scale, which has what they call a zero parallax indicator, which means that it, it ends in a single point and is extremely fine, so it, it matches with everything. You get um, a selection of 20 mil dogs, and I'll explain these a little more in a second. You get a pair of speed knobs to secure the dogs. You also get a pair of angle brackets, so that you can use the triangle when squaring up a carcass, so you can fasten the triangle to the inside of a carcass. And I'll show you that again a little later. There's a little T-bolt which fits into this track from underneath and is held in place by this little red-handled knob. And importantly, there's this brass indexing pin, which again, I'll explain how that works in a minute. And there's also a pair of short and long little pegs that screw into some threaded holes on the edges and a little tin to keep all your bits and pieces in. And you even get a pair of ball-ended hex screwdrivers, if you want to call it that. Again, these are made in the States, so the whole thing is made in America. There's no other input, and they're really proud uh, to say that. Okay, now I've run through all the features and the kit you get with the product. I'm just going to set it up as a simple square so you can use it on the edge of your table or to mark the edge of a board. So all you need is the foot, the small hex key driver, and three of the small screws. So it's very simple, you just need to fit this foot to either side of the triangle. So tighten them all up, not too much, and you're ready to go. Now I have this foot, the square will actually stand up on its own now, but for the purpose of this, you can just now see that you have an edge on this inside which will line up with the edge of your table. So you have a perfect square here, or you can turn it over and have your perfect square like so. But also you can use it, obviously, for marking a board, so we have a fairly wide piece here which will fit nicely so again that will fit exactly where you want it to so you can scribe a line at 90 degrees or at 45 degrees however you want okay so that's a very simple way of making it into a usable carpentry or joinery triangle the other way of doing this is to use either of the pins using the pins you can see how you can just drop that on the edge and mark things off. Even on a bench that has 
a relatively low profile to the top. You can still use it with the long pins, just to swap them over. Then if you have your work as well, you can still mark it all off. Probably a bit better with, with a thicker piece than this, but it's still doable. So again, you've got your 45 degrees and your 90 degrees, and you know it's going to be right. Now we're going to set this up for its primary job, really, which is to use it on the typical 20 mil dog bench style uh, unit. I mean, it could be a typical uh, unit like this one, which is the UJK, could be the Festo MFT3 tabletop, or any tabletop made with a path guide system or cut out on a CNC, but they all share the same common 96 millimeter centers with 20 millimeter holes. Now, this jig was originally designed around the Festal MFT3 top, the multifunctional table. Unfortunately, Festal tops are not quite as accurate as ones made on a CNC machine like so. And what we have found is that the actual dog holes vary in size. So with this unit, you get two pairs of dogs. One is a fairly loose fitting unit when it's placed into a, tw a genuine 20 mil hole, but it works fine on the Festal MFT3s. So that's really a, a function of just that table alone. So we'll just put those to one side because we're going to set this on this UJK table, which is much more accurately made. So the two dogs with the rings in the top surface, rather than being plain like those are, are meant for use in these tables. So they fit much more snugly. They really slide in and out really nicely. In fact, you can see that's not dropping down. So it's a good fit, which is very important when you're using this jig. If you do use these dogs on this table with this jig, you'll have movement. So it's very important that if you're using it on a table made by the path jig or buying one of the UJK tables, you use these dogs with the identifying ring in the top surface. So you also need to use the two speed knobs from, for underneath. It's a little bit awkward on this table, I have to say, but it works. And you obviously need the indicator scale. You need your little T-nut and you'll need the securing knob for that and the indexing pin. So how we have it set now is that the triangle is forming a 90 degrees angle here. Um, or you could say it's a, a zero degree angle along this face. So you're looking at this scale, you're probably looking mostly at this face here. So if you look on this scale, there are nine different indexing holes uh, set at 15, 22 and a half, 30, 45, 60, 67 and a half, 75 and 90. They will allow you to create boxes or picture frames and things like that at, you know, three, four, five, six, eight, and 10 sided. And you'll know that every one will be perfect when you cut these. So to change the angle of this is so simple. The little knob here is your securing knob that locks the whole thing into place. But the index pin is the part that makes sure that the triangle is set. So you're not really reliant on the scale unless you want to set it at an angle that is not coinciding with one of these index pins. So to change the angle, you remove the little brass pin, undo that a quarter of a turn, and then simply revolve the whole triangle around this bottom dog, okay? So you can then set it to your 30 degrees, you find your indexing pin, you just insert the pin, you know that is absolutely spot on, not only because the pin's in place, because the scale and the uh, pointer are absolutely plumb lined up, and then you just tighten that little hand knob and it's locked into place, it can't move. So to make sure it's more secure, you could tighten the knobs underneath, that will clamp the uh, dogs down on top of the whole frame, but normally just using that one is quite en good enough. So that's how you actually change the angle. So what we're reading now is a 30 degree angle incidence here. So in some ways, you've got to be quite imaginative how to use this device when you're just marking out or just cutting simple angles. We'll come on to how to use it with a guide rail square, which I think is really where, or a guide rail, sorry, which is where it's really going to score in a, in a minute or two. But 
It's such an easy tool to use. As I say, you just slacken that hand knob, quarter of a turn, lift the pin, set it at 75 degrees, just revolve it around, just ease the pin, lock the handle, and you have 75 degrees incidents here. On this table, I'm going to use two of the PATH Super Dogs. So these just slot into place and then just tighten a little bit with the top knurled handle. So place them like so. And then I have a short Festool rail, it's an 800mm one, with two of the UJK clips. So they just literally slip over the top of the dogs, like so, and then you're able to move the, uh, the guide rail up and down. So how I have this now, I have the indicator at zero degrees. That means that you have an absolute 90 degrees to the rail, okay? So if you want to cut straight across a board, you just place it against the rail, raise it, raise it up a little bit. And now where you measure off your length or the part you want to cut, you know it's going to be absolutely dead square with the triangle. So the triangle is holding the timber square to the rail. It can't go anywhere. It's locked into place because the triangle is locked to the table. So that will give you an absolute 90 degree square cut against this rail. So if I want to, say, change the angle of cut to, say, 30 degrees, simply lift the indexing pin out, a little slackness on the knob, and then slide the triangle around, drop the indexing pin back in and tighten the knob, and then I just simply place the timber against the triangle, and I have a 30 degree inside measurement across here. And again, that can be at any angle you want, up to 90 degrees. Obviously, on a small table, you would need to reposition the triangle to accommodate a steeper or greater angle, but it's completely easy to adjust. So, this is the perfect accessory to use on a guide dog style table, the 20 mil guide dog table with the 90 mil, 96 mil centers. It will give you that degree of accuracy that really, in some ways, only a large panel saw can, can give you. But all this, you can take it away, do it on site, in your neighbor's property, wherever you want to take it on jobs, in your own workshop, and you will always have this accuracy level. It's just absolutely unheard of before. So, useful for kitchen fitters or anybody who makes uh, carcass type um, furniture, you know, for your kitchens, your bathrooms, bedrooms, etc. You can use this as a clamping device to make sure your carcasses are square. So I'm just going to assemble these two angle brackets onto the two faces of, of the triangle and I'll, then I'll show you how it works. So just bear with me. So all you really need to do is when you're fastening these angle brackets to the uh, face of the triangles, make sure, you just run your finger along here, make sure they're nice and flush, so that there's no little steps. So just make sure that everything's nice and smooth. Now you have your triangle with the two uh, angle brackets on there and a, a frame. This is just something we had kicking around in the studio here. So you just place your, your triangle like so. And the ideal thing to use is these, these quick clamps and just get them out a little bit more. Just place them in place, squeeze them up. Make sure it's in okay. Just like that, perfect. That will fit inside here. These are just a tad awkward, but they actually do the job quite well. So you just squeeze them in place. Like so, and now you can see you are actually clamping your two sides of your carcass whilst it's gluing up or while you're screwing it or whatever else you're going to use to hold it actually in place. And it's held at a perfect 90 degrees. So perfect for carcass making or frame making, even simple things like bookshelves and stuff like that. But it just gives another added use to this unit. So that is the MTR18 triangle. I hope you've had a flavor of the different types of work you can do with this. 
Um, you know, some people will say this is a massively expensive investment, but believe you me, the price is secondary to what you can do and the you know, accuracy of your work, which is so important. And it has already been quite popular in the UK and sales are seriously growing. If you've got this style of work where you're using this dog style bench with a rail saw especially, it's just an unbeatable combination. So what you see is what you get here. It's actually really good value for money and we're really proud to have them in the UK. Don't forget, they're available in store, online, and uh, we just hope you enjoy using one of these in the future. Thank you very much.